C to beat Void. He's been in a little bit of a funk. Yeah. You know, Void, he got 49th at Shine, 25th at Super Smash Con. But he, the Joker switch, it, you know, it's growing pains. That's, yeah. what, that's what I like to think of. He's been going through other characters. He's tried the Pichu, tried the Pikachu, tried some Wolf. Now I think he's going with Joker. I think it's a good pick for him. He was saying he was going to try to make it work. AC, you know, that dual main plays the Meta Knight, plays the Snake. And I understand going for a Meta Knight against someone like Void. I, uh, I've talked to a couple of the Meta Knights. I'm like, yeah, we think it is uh, slightly in Meta Knight's favor. He has that edge guarding. He has the ability to just kind of contest Joker whenever he's off stage. That's the special way you want to hit him. Yep. The only problem is... It, it, it's the problem is like the type of Meta Knight someone can play. If it's like dash hack heavy, then all Joker really needs to do is be in the air, do the guns down, then you're getting a lot of damage. But the way that AC plays, he's so patient. He has that neutral. He has a he has that good neutral of not just running around. He likes to do a lot of walking and just poking. So I think this will work. Yeah, and this is going to be one of those matchups for Void where he's going to want to be with Arsene in the advantage state, but the moment that he's in disadvantage state, he really wants to have that tether. He really does not want Arsene because AC is yeah, going to be able to edge guard really, really well with if, Meta Knight. If there's one thing Meta Knight is known for, he's always edge guarding. He puts any character off stage, and he's out there six jumps, throwing out dares, fares, everything. Yeah, and so Void really close to getting Arsene. There it is. Just big this is, what, this is the worst time to have it but not going to get the right position yet. Oh, really good wait from Void. Down smash, not going to take the stock just yet, even though we got the sparks. Oh, oh but, but he died you. to that. That was bad DI. Yeah, Meta Knight still yeah. not, a, not a heavy character at all. Yeah, caught him holding in a little bit, too. It's Void, now that... Oh! oh. <laughs> Who does that? Honestly, the confidence. That, that's confidence. Yeah. He, 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 like, literally started to pull out of the back end. But no, we're yeah. done with that. We don't do that here. What exactly. a way punish with the S-Mash. And this is exactly what I was talking about. Now that Void is at high percent, it's really nice for him not to have Arsene. Now he can build percent safely, not worry about losing his stock until he gets to a point where he has Arsene. There's the counter. Uh, Twice. Yep, he gets that. I think he's going to die on this one, though. Oh, oh very see close. It barely missed it. <laughs> so close. Yeah, I like how AC decided not to go out and hit him because he said, because he knew like, if he hit him again, I he, he could might get save him, yeah. Might save it would save him because he would have got of uh, Arsene. That's right, that's right. Oh, air dodge out, forward tilt. Wow, really big ambitious read for the F match, probably expecting a jump. I love how patient AC is being, he's not just swinging with these dash attacks like you see a lot of Meta Knights doing. And AC, I think he's got to pick the pace up a little bit though, because so far this has kind of been the Void show. Void has been dictating when the interactions happen, not AC, and I think AC needs to find his stuff. AC finally getting a dash attack, but not getting the good part that really uh, leads into the combos. But gets that tipper dash attack. That's the dash attack you want, but barely missing that other uh, up air. That's that F tilt. That F tilt has so much range. Rolling for not actually oh. going to get punished for that another roll, Will. I was sent back, are going to take it. Yeah, great patience from Void. But AC immediately going back in, not even trying to camp out the Arsene. He just wants to get this damage in. Yeah, down air cross up. He's getting a lot for this. That one mix up on the the cross up on the shield really paid dividends for Void. Right now, AC's kind of struggling to get these kills. Oh. Went for the up tilt. That was interesting. Oh, oh no, tech no tech right there. But I believe it. No, that was it, dude. I'm surprised you didn't uh, go for like a gun, air dodge in, try to go for the tether again, but. Uh, AC still bringing this back to one stock apiece. It was maybe looking good for uh, for Void, but again, at the same time, yeah, you and don't want to sleep on Meta Knight. And AC has definitely picked the pace up, as we were talking about earlier. He's definitely, like, when it, when he's winning these interactions, it's because he's making them happen. Most of the time, when he's letting Void come to him, Void is kind of getting in. So he needs to actually make things happen on his turn. I guess I grab. You going to see any up airs? <gasps> Great wait. I love how he grabbed him again. Just barely missed that up air. This is definitely the perfect percent for Meta Knight to get a dash attack. Gets one, but not going to hit it. Really weird option. I think Void was already in the midst of jumping, so it kind of messed up the timing. There's a grab. It's going to be hard for him to edge guard Void at this I don't believe he has low a jump, percent. Actually. Oh, he doesn't have a jump? Wow. Just off on the timing from AC. Yeah. Void, he's one hit away. All he needs is something like a first hit affair. You know, a drag down up air. There's a lot of options that he has to get this going. Back air might even do it at the ledge. Like, yeah. But now our has gone. I like how Void went for that uh, ledge trump there to kind of condition AC, but not even not even going to trip about it. I like the short hopping from Void. He's kind of just saying, you cannot approach me on the ground. And he gets a follow-up on the, the air dodge right there. That was, that kind of sucks. That's yeah. one of those moments where you think you're going to be safe if you just air dodge away, and then you're not. 
it's such a mix of, yeah, you're able to air dodge in like five directions, but if the opponent just stands there and you air dodge, I was like, all right, so what's my full punish gonna be? Yeah, got mm -hmm. it. <laughs> let me let me let me get the calculator out and figure out the exact percent which each of these combos is gonna do. I think the Meta Knight was working. Maybe need to pick up the pace a little more in certain situations, especially once he gets that one hit. He needs to take that as far as he can possibly go. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the uh, Meta Knight. Cheek. That's that's what I like to see. Sand, or and immediately gonna counter pick with the snake. He's, yeah, you're not living past 70. Yeah, Sheik definitely not as big of a monster as she was in the last game. In this game, she has been, you know, toned down a little bit, but she did receive some buffs lately. And now she's, like, turned into that character where it's, like, you get, you understand that you're not going to do a lot of damage. Where did that grenade go? Yeah, you understand with Sheik that you're not going to get the damage. But what you are really is just, like, you still have the neutral, and you still, you want to gimp and get those edge guards in. Because that's where Sheik strides a lot. Right. She gets so much damage in. And eventually, you'll be in a percent where she can finally kill you. And Void is still seasoned with the Sheik anyway. You know, he still has, like, the training time in. He has the, the years of, like, Sheik blood in him from Smash 4. I just realized that Sheik is taller than Snake. Really? Oh. Wow. Isn't that weird? How tall is Zelda? I don't know, but apparently tall, especially the fact that Sheik has a hunch, too. Like, And how tall is... I don't even know. Isn't Snake like seven? Someone who knows old? some can't. What a down air! <laughs> Bro, AC laughed. That was sick. I don't think anyone would have thought to do that except for Void. I feel like Mr. Mr. R, if he played Cheek, he would have yeah. been in that same boat. Yeah. Cheek made him look for any opportunity to get that good down air. And he needs plays like that to win this game. This is going to be really rough for him because. I mean, Snake just gets to trade with you all the time. Sheik doesn't want trades. Sheik needs those interaction wins where, you know, she has to get that percent in order to get a kill. And she needs to bring you to, like, 119 to actually get something going. Yeah, to get a stock like that, especially against Snake, it's so good. And on Town, too, where both players are going to be living longer. Yeah. And her but hits just don't do any damage. Oh, oh yeah. the slide off. That was clean. See, the problem right here is that you've given Sheik a lead, and when Sheik has a lead, she decides when she's going to be hit, You really. Right. And we thought Void was playing evasive with Joker. The Sheik is out, and it's worse. It's... Uh, yeah, the AC's definitely right here. How the hell do I hit this guy? There we go. Dash attack. That's how you do it. Sometimes you got to explode in. Got 160, so... But down tilt. Double down tilt. Yeah. That, people complain about the up tilt, but that down tilt, that's an underrated move. It has... It's basically horizontal up tilt. It has so much rain, it pops you up. You can just spam it sometimes. It's a good combo starter, too. Mm -hmm. People just complain about up tilt because it's like, oh, big up axe kicky move. Yeah, it's just because the hitbox is big. I think, oh, that's, I think that's really the biggest complaint for most people. Go to the Forward up smash. smash. Okay. I, I feel like he wanted to go forward and do a down air, but like he messed up and did a forward air. Yeah. And... Yeah, that was not, that, that did not, not feel intended. good. Yeah, not intended. An interesting thing for Void is that in this matchup, he can do forward throw bouncing fish and not have to worry about the grenade. Oh, yeah, because grenade will be behind him. Yeah. What Again? A, what a read with the S-Match. Void knew actually in advance. He actually stood there. Oh, he went up and got him. That's not good. Not no, even the cross-up. Even the cross-up up here didn't kill. Yeah, he, did, he had nowhere near enough knockback there. I swear it, Void was going to do it again. This is looking really good for Void. This Needles. Pick. He grabbed the grenade too. The Sheik pick is looking really good yeah. for Void right now. I feel like AC definitely can sure up a couple of things about his play, but Void has definitely been outplaying him in a lot of capacities. AC trying to set up camp, but Void actually does not care. He's just charging up his needles. Oh, look for the down air. Or tilt. I oh like the goodness. idea with the C4. Yeah, that was close. He actually gets oh, the grenade and he pays for that's it. That's unfortunate. Kick the grenade, the grenade kicks you back, but you're still at 100. Wow. You see how low he dipped to make sure that he was going to be able to hit that the vanish so, hitbox on him? That, that was, was so good. He just caught AC like standing there because he was so afraid of the back air. And then by the time he really did get B, well, I'll just do it myself. This is one of those moments where it's like you have. It, it's going to come down to how many mix ups to get kills does Void have? Because. It's gonna start to repeat itself after a little bit, so we'll going have, for the we'll Pichu. Void just cycling with the characters. Yeah. Wait, it's one one. I thought. I it think it's two o void, I believe. Yeah. Three, 
did he? Yeah, it is to avoid. Right, now going over to the Pichu, we're going to be on Smash Bowl. This matchup, that was definitely something that we talked about once Pichu was uh, that monster he was a couple patches ago. You know, Pichu only lost really two matches. That was Snake and Shulk. But now the fact that Pichu's been nerfed, the kill power lacking. Uh, from what I've heard, the P like top level Pichus are fine just because the things that got nerfed were the things that like low level players spammed. So, I, it's still definitely like a bad match for Pichu, but let's see how Void's Pichu does. Right. It's and it, he's rotating on him, and it it's, comes down to those mix-ups, right? Like, he, he wants the ability to bring new kill setups to AC to adapt to every single time. And if he can't adapt fast enough to each of the characters, then, you know, Void's gonna have a field day. And let's not forget, Pichu's at 60. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he might die. He might die. He actually will die to an up smash. I'm so good. surprised he didn't die. He waited for the C4. But it's still dangerous. Yeah. Both characters are kill percent. Gets that down tilt, not kill so just yet. Close. Thought he was gonna go for maybe an F tilt. I would have definitely taken it, tackling that Pichu. I like going to ledge, not trying to go back to center stage, especially with all the uh, items being thrown around. How's it feel, Snake? You're sitting <laughs> shielding the grenade blow up on yourself, going for a really risky dash grab. Yeah. So Void, I mean, he's got to find a kill setup. Okay, just there give him go. the toes, yep. the toes, ballerina. He took the words right out of my mouth there. Even. Stocks a piece, only 1% because he did the Twinkle Toes. I, I like the wait. Instead of just like doing an up air at every possible moment that you can do an up air, he does an up air, then he crouches and just chills for a second, see what he does. Oh uh, yeah, Boyd waiting a little too long on that down throw. Gets Ooh. a dare and calling Big him kicks. out with the nair. Kicking this, he's kicking Pichu right now, and we're not gonna lie, it's kinda rude. Tell me you could take this character to the park, but you're just gonna you're gonna kick him? Like that's rude. Oh my goodness. You now Void's turning it up, tries to cross him up with the back air. Wow, the smash. cannon, dude. That's such a cannon. That Sends so far. It has such a deceptively like large hitbox, goes to the jab, not gonna hit. Now this is scary for Snake. Yeah, I was wondering when he was going to go up and do a thunder like that. Yeah, you definitely saw Void wait the first three times. He was like, all right, let's condition to see where he's going to go. And now, right now, Void looks like he's ready to close this out 3-0. Although this was looking good for AC in the beginning, and it still can. It is the this nature is, of Pichu. This is one interaction away for there we go for AC, and there's that interaction right there. I kind of be chuckling if I was Void. I was like, man, I should not. I don't know why I threw that, that third key jolt. Yeah. Now, this is like I said, this is even. Snake needs to get one hit. There we go. It's the trades, right? The trades are what are going to kill Void if it works out for him. Oh, Void. up throw, yeah, forward Void, throw. Void Peach is still looking pristine. Yeah, I like the grenade toss up. I like the way that Peachu kind of just throws a grenade yeah. in his mouth. He finally he, caught him with it. Yep, disappeared. <laughs> I was going to say Peach is at about 57 again. <laughs> Quick up till that, uh, that could be it. So Void gonna take that one down with a 3-0. Doing the yeah. three character rotate, that's that's dominating. Yeah, yeah, so Void will go on to play Larry. Oh, that's coming up right now. Void yeah, Larry versus Larry happening. Down. Void versus Larry gonna be seeing the SoCal matchup. Yeah, the other side of losers is actually waiting on winners matches to finish up to actually keep going. Uh, I believe Nico versus Kamehameha is happening on that stream over there, 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all the SoCal's over there. Yeah, everyone, everyone's going. looking at that. Void, Larry playing again? Psh, let's go watch Nico with Kamehameha. Yeah. <laughs> and we've seen that quick SoCal homies facing off. Have Void and Larry played in bracket since Void picked up Joker? I don't know. They probably, like, played, like, Wi-Fi and, like, on each other's stream. Right. But uh, other than that, I'm not sure. But both these players, you know, they're known for about three different characters. Larry has the Spacey's, Void has the Joker, the Pichu, right. the Joker, Pichu. Who else did he go? Sheik. Yep. We uh, see a lot of counter picks. Larry has been performing pretty decently, not in his full form from Smash 4. Uh, similar to Void, they're kind of both having growing pains with Ultimate. Uh, Larry Lur, this guy had a run at Super Smash Com where he got 33rd. It's pretty good. Uh, he got 49th at Evo. The uh, Cosmos. Yeah, and then he got uh, 33rd at CEO as well. So he, 